Tell us some of the things that you are going to focus on in the months ahead for your reportage. Okay, well, the battle for, for migration and closing our borders has, hasn't ended. You know, it's just the beginning. The EU Parliament goes into elections in May of this year, so I'll be covering what's going on there because this is about the battle of our continent. This is the biggest battle that our continent has faced since 1945. And I don't say that lightly because we got the battle of the populists. We got the chief populist in power in the US. And like you with Trudeau, we have to put up with these liberal lefties sitting in the European Parliament. And they've had it their own way for a number of years now. And with the likes of Matteo Salvini, Geert Wilders and Stracker, all my friends who are now either in opposition or running governments and Marine Le Pen, I'll be interviewing those main players and saying about what do they want? What do their voters want? Because they're now in government. How do you want to shape our continent? Because we're at this tipping point, basically, in Europe. And Europe isn't just about the EU, it's a wider continent as well. And so therefore, it's important that we get Salvini's uh, party, Labour Nord, is likely to be the largest party in Italy coming through. And also Marine Le Pen is likely to be, again, the largest party. And also Geert Wilders. So let's go into the, the, their parliaments. Let's interview their people. Go to the EU parliament, interview them, follow them on the campaign trail. And also we're talking about immigration. Um, I wrote a book earlier this year with using all EU statistics, which covered the migrant crime wave. We've seen this unprecedented crime wave from the migrants that have been forced us upon us by the Liberal left. And again, I'll be uncovering those stories, popping over to France, having to see, see what's going on with just not Macron's uh, gilets jaunes, the yellow vest, but actually what's happening on the ground. This man and successive governments, uh, previous governments before him, have just allowed this march of people that sit on our borders waiting to break into my country. And many of them are very, very successful. So I'll be covering those areas. Um, Unmasking the EU ahead of the elections. Um, let's expose it for what it is. When I arrived there, I thought I knew this pretty awful um, body that cost millions and millions and millions of pounds a year for the 500 million people across Europe. But you actually, when you actually get in there, you don't realise, it's only then you actually realise the length of... The legislation that's gone on to our statute books and also the waste, the cars, the just the amount of money. I'm not going to give you uh, too much information at the moment, but we'll, we'll take the cameras in and we expose this and we'll play this to the peoples across Europe and North America. When Trump got elected, he reiterated what Kissinger said basically a few years ago. Who do I pick up the phone to and call in Europe? But what Trump said as a supplement to that is he knows if he wants to talk to France, he talks to Macron. If he wants to talk to my country, he talks to May. If he wants to talk to Italy now, he talks to Salvini. You don't pick up the phone to anybody in Europe. Europe doesn't exist. You might pretend it's this great foreign international body. It doesn't. He downgraded them a few weeks ago with the ambassador status because Obama had elevated them. So it's going in and exposing what they are and how we reshape Europe and how we work with Canada, US, the Commonwealth, across the world. And we shut down these supranational bodies that are run by the global elite. Davos man. That's what those are the, just a few things that I'll be doing for you. That's an excerpt from the Ezra Levant Show. Every day, I do a video monologue, and then I interview an interesting guest, and then I end by reading my hate mail. But you've got to subscribe to it, which you can do at therebel.media slash shows.